how do we know if it's okay to get in when there's a lot of momentum and it's way above the 20 moving average? Uh, you want to try to get in. I, I guess you're talking about with the momentum thing there. You're talking about a day trade. So now I'm going to switch over to thinkorswim. So uh, a great example of that today was NVIDIA. Are pretty big. Okay, so a great example of that is NVIDIA because uh, it's like, God, where can I get in? It's going up crazy, right? Where can I get in? Um, again, you'll learn in my market mastery uh, classes several strategies and techniques for getting in at different kinds of signals, okay? And uh, so that'll help there. But just like a brief, quick overview is you could, for like one method, is you can get out in the two minute opening range breakout, okay? So that's one method. This chart you're looking at right now is the two minute chart. That's the chart I tend to favor, two minute chart. And uh, as you can see, hopefully you can see that. Uh, you guys are using your computers or somehow you can see very good. Uh, the top of the two minute candle was right there. And the bottom was uh, uh, right around there. I drew kind of a funny line, but if you guys can see that, it's maybe hard to see. There's the bottom and the top. And so what you do with the two minute opening range breakout is if the um, price of the next candle uh, goes up and over the top of it, then you enter for a long trade. If it goes down and below the bottom of that previous candle, then you enter for a short trade for it to go down. Uh, so as you can see, it today in NVIDIA, that would have worked. That would have got you in at 7, uh, 14 and a half. Uh, another method is to do that exact same thing, but give it, let the stock trade for five minutes. So that would have roughly been this range here. You guys kind of following me? So the bottom down there and then the top. This That would have been this whole range here. And then on that, on minute number six, as soon as it starts to break the top end, uh, end of that, then you enter at that point. So either one of those. And some people even use the 10 minute range. One, two, three, four, five. That would have been all the way to the top of there before they get in. As you can see, look at that. A lot of people use the opening range, opening 10 minute range breakout because look at how much uh, people started to buy up that particular breakout. The 10 minute opening range breakout is a pretty popular breakout. So they got it at 720 right there. But you can see that the two minute uh, would have gotten you in $6 earlier, which would have been really good. Uh, so that's one method. Next method is you're going to have to wait for a pullback, uh, some kind of consolidation, a rest, not just a moment of rest, but and it can be brief, uh, but hopefully a couple of candles and maybe some pullback. And NVIDIA didn't do that too good. It was really running strong today. Um, but right here, it kind of did. You guys see that? It pulled back down there. And then it started to run. And what you do is when green candle breaks over uh, any of these, actually uh, green candle breaks over uh, the previous red candle high uh, in one of those pullbacks, then you can get in. And that would have been right here. On the green candle. At that moment, it broke over this red candles high. It won't do that typically. It will not do that unless it's ready to take off again on the two minute candles. Okay. On the one minute candle, you'll get a lot of false signals. Two minute, not so much. It should be pretty clean. So, another entrance, as you can see, uh, was then therefore right here. You guys see that? It was when this green candle broke over either of these, they had the same high. This red candle's high, so we'll just pick that one. It could have been that one or that one. really doesn't matter. But it broke right there over that high. That would have given you another chance to enter at 732.50. So when these stocks are running 
you know, it's a bummer because they run away with you if they don't give you these entries like this. But usually, you know, you get this kind of movement. Up here, I'm drawing. Uh, usually you get this kind of move. This is a good pullback that you can, you know, easily uh, get in when it broke right here. Uh, green candle over red candle high for re-entry. Except the problem here is it's now two hours into the day. Uh, the majority of the move has happened. You know, this this is it's pretty much you can deduce that it's like all over. Uh, so you're getting in at the end of risk instead of the beginning of risk. So you're now high risk and low reward, which is not how you want to trade. And uh, so that can be a problem. All right. So, yeah, that's how you can get into some things uh, when they're getting away from you.